Australia run one more time. For, for me. Uh. No, just kidding. For Paul. What? <laughs> Fucking Saturday night, is everyone excited? Yeah. Is that because you guys have jobs? <laughs> I don't know, maybe you're Jewish. Fucking Sabbath, yeah, muscle tough. <laughs> I don't, I don't think Jewish people break cups every Saturday. It's, uh, <laughs> getting heckled with noises. Maybe that guy's heckling me in Hebrew. It's good to be here. Um, it really is. I, uh, I try, I don't have a job. I, I try to be productive though in society still. And I, so I spend a lot of time watching TV. Well, you gotta do it, because if you don't, and the rate they don't get the ratings. Yeah. And the shows get axed. If you guys all quit your jobs and watch that Ben Elton show, it would still be shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, watch that, watch that. I've been watching a TV show called Weeds. Yeah, yeah. the stoners with the pizza. Makes sense. <laughs> it's uh, for anyone who doesn't know, it's about marijuana, and if you haven't watched it, I wouldn't recommend getting into it because Weeds is a gateway television show. <laughs> it leads to more serious television shows, like 60 Minutes. You don't want to watch that. It's, uh, no, it doesn't. It leads to snacking and watching cartoons. And uh, I was at the bakery today getting some snacks and. I saw a sign at the bakery that said, rolls, 50 cents each, four, for two dollars. <laughs> yeah. The only thing you save is having to do maths. <laughs> then I, I went home and watched cartoons, uh, Spider-Man. I called Spider-Man. I realized if you play Spider-Man backwards for a very brief moment, it looks like the bad guys are jizzing on his wrists. <laughs> just, just for a little bit. Just long enough to masturbate to him. <laughs> if you're into that kind of thing, you guys are weird. Man. Speaking of Spider-Man, fuck, I hate spiders, man. <laughs> Oh shit, was that transition? <laughs> I do, man. The spiders aren't that smart. All right, check this out. The other day I went outside and I saw a spider get stuck in another spider's web. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> I don't know. I do. I, I'm scared of spiders and um, I try to get them out of my room. I don't like to kill them. But if there's one in my room and I, I, I want to get rid of it, I'll try and catch it with a cup but I don't want a spider to get revenge on me. So what I do is I'll, before I put the cup on it, I'll shine a flashlight on it so that it thinks that it was abducted by aliens. <laughs> Sometimes I'll do it with a vacuum cleaner. Spiders are like, man, this is a dusty spaceship. <laughs> Can't wait to get to Nebulon. I think that's where spiders think aliens come from. <laughs> and we've killed the momentum. <laughs> so yeah. Man, there's a lot of shit going on in the world, a lot of natural disasters. You guys, you guys scared? <laughs> Scary shit. So I'm trying to, I'm scared and I'm trying to get into spirituality because of it. And uh, I've been trying to actually, I've been trying to have an out of body experience. And that's kind of freaky. Uh, check this out, right? Just last night. I woke up to find myself looking down at my bed. I wasn't in it. As it turns out, I was just standing next to my bed. Fuck, I was so close. <laughs> but there is a lot of shit going on at the moment. And uh, I'm glad that we have a female prime minister, you know, to like, be all maternal and stuff. <laughs> Be all maternal. <laughs> yeah, I can hear you too. 
Uh, are you guys happy with our current leadership? No? What did you want Abbott to win? Uh, what's your fucking problem? <laughs> I mean, yeah, all right. I, if I'm being completely honest, I'm still a little bit upset about what happened to Kevin Rudd. All right, you know, the way they all turned on him and stabbed him in the back. And uh, I have a friend, though, who hates Kevin Rudd. He's like, you can't feel bad for Kevin Rudd. He brought it on himself. He didn't keep his election promises. And I'm like, what? He didn't keep his election promises. What politician does right, none of them fucking do. In fact, the only one I can think of that even came close was Hitler. <laughs> and last I checked, he wasn't doing very well with the polls. This is uh, the, the stoner anti-Semite table. We're gonna fight it out with the Jewish hackers over pizza. Don't worry, it's, it's got no meat on it. It's all, it's all kosher. <laughs> Speaking of politics, do you know what else is in the, the politics at the moment? <laughs> what does that even mean? Um, they're talking about banning the burger still. Do you guys think we should ban the burger? You love burgers. She loves burgers. <laughs> she, she came to a comedy club and brought her own comedy. We're gonna have to charge her a corkage. I don't think that, I, I really hope they don't ban the burger, because if they ban the burger, that'll fuck me right up, right? Because uh, I just signed a 12 month membership to Fernwood. <laughs> I don't refund that shit. I'm kidding, I don't, I don't exercise. This is a joke. Relax. Um, hey, let me ask you this, right? <laughs> I'm asking a lot of stuff. Um, you know how they say that it's, it's considered racist to say that people from a certain country all speak the same? Yeah. Well, does that make it sexist to say that all women sound the same when I'm banging them bitches with my dick? <laughs> I put that. Case you're worried, it's it's always the sound of disappointment. <laughs> Some of you may have noticed that I'm a bit of a chubby guy. <laughs> That's the burgers girl. <laughs> I'm jolly with my beard. I'm like a Taliban Santa Claus. <laughs> It's not until I go fully white, I can start delivering presents to the kids. <laughs> what are you talking? You guys are freaks. Actually, uh, since you brought it up. <laughs> I don't think being fat's always a bad thing. I mean, take, take fatness in children, for instance. Right. Personally, I think that childhood obesity is like nature's defense against pedophilia. <laughs> We got touched. I mean, think about it, right? Snatching grabs are going to be a two man job. Uh, thank you very much. I'm Mike Emilios. Have a good night. <laughs>